Welcome back to Starfish Sea Fishing. I'm going to service another one of my reels today, uh, Pen Mag 3. Uh, problem with this reel, it's actually the bearings are running okay, the gears are alright, so I'm just going to re grease them. But the anti reverse bearing on this one's been slipping, so I've got a spare anti reverse bearing here. So we're going to be swapping this part over and giving the internals a good clean and the bearings as well. So Pen Mag 525 Mark 3. Yeah, this is the 515 version I just used for casting. But um it's just that slipping on the anti reverse. So it's hard to replicate actually, but when you're fishing with it, it does slip when on the retrieve. So we're gonna take this apart and get it stripped down. So first thing I'm gonna do is work on the spool, four screws, we'll get them unscrewed. I'll try and make this video a bit snappy as well. The other one was a bit too long, I did so. Remove the spill from the cage, just push the spill. I'll pull the side plates off with the mags. There's no servicing on this part, really. So, there's a bearing behind the brass shield. You just uh, take it out, clean it, re oil it, and that'll be done. I'd advise you when you take this side off to tighten the mag up itself because occasionally these can come loose and rub on the spill, but there's no problems with this one today, so we'll leave this side. So, we'll take the spill and the spindle out work on the uh, spill for now just leave the plastic cap off so we made a little tool to take the bearings out it's just a bent screwdriver so you just push it in there pull the bearing out like so behind that there's a metal washer that's there to protect the spool it's not there for any tension or anything like that some people say it can rub on the bearing but it's up to you whether we leave it in or not it won't do any harm if you lose it put it that way um, we'll take this uh, clip off here, keeping your thumb over it, make sure that doesn't spring off. Pull this little drive plate out. And pull the other bearing out. So this sort of bearing making it should be second nature. We're not taking the grease out the bearings today, so I won't be using any penetrating oil because they've already been clean, they just need re-oiling. So we'll place them in some lighter fluid for about 10 minutes. Give them a good soak just to take the oil out the bearings. We'll dry them out in some paper towels and then we'll re-oil the bearings. So we'll take the bearings out the lighter fluid. We'll leave those on a bit of paper to dry out. Make sure it all evaporates and then we'll re-oil them. So you can probably see why I use an old cloth as well. Um, <laughs> Keeps the grease off everything. I'm on about my 10th reel now, so. Right, bearings, two drops of oil on a spoon, or three. Heat the spoon up. No, overdo it, and you should see the oil start to bubble. It'll draw up inside the bearing. There we go, you'll just see the bearing bubble. So that's pulling the oil inside of the bearing. Same again with this one, put two drops on that, thin the oil out and it'll pull it inside the bearing. So we'll start the spool reassembly. So on this side of the reel, it's a shim. I say it's only there to protect the spool really. If you lose it, no problem. Some people pull the bearings out and lose them, I wouldn't panic if you did. Push that back in. That's the clicker side. Bearing on the opposite side. This plate's got two sides. There's a flat side and a side with a square on and a circle. So the flat side goes down. There we go. Circle clip again. So the back side goes in there. You put your thumb on it. You just use the piece of metal just to pull the legs in keeping your thumb on it and making sure it is in because if they do spring out you will lose them they do cost a bit of money these to get them sent out so that's the spool side done and we can see that's now spinning beautifully so we've got a new anti-reverse bearing i need to change over in the reel <clears throat> so what we're going to do is remove the handle first so i'm going to remove the handle first with a flathead screwdriver Take the cover for the screw off. Place 
place that to one side. Remove the nut. Keep everything in situ as well and you won't lose anything. Remove the handle. The handle's not a 525 handle. I think it's off a fathom or something like that. It looks a better handle actually. There's a black washer on there. If you keep your hand on that, turn the star drag and it'll come off. You know, you see this one's very dirty, this reel. <coughs> You've got the clicker mechanism. And the drag washer plates. Remove the tension cap. Again, inside these tension caps, this can happen. This little brass screw on here needs to be taken out. I'm going to clean this out. So the first thing I'm going to do, there's a lot of grease in this, which shouldn't really be that greasy. I'm just going to take everything out of the cap. Right, so the tension cap's full of grease. So I'm just going to clean this out. You have to really watch out for this little uh, brass bit that's in the centre. I'm just going to put this in lighter fuel. There shouldn't be that much grease in there. I think this has over greased this reel as well, so I'm going to have a good look at it. Just give that a wash out. I'm going to say this why I use an old towel, doesn't matter what I get on it. Clean that off on the paper towel, get the grease off it. Only needs a quick wipe. We assemble the tension cap. This bit goes in first. It's got a little knob on the end there. That goes into that little hole. And what I tend to do, so it clicks in like so. This tiny little bit is what you don't want to lose or you're going to knock your whole reel out. That goes into the centre. Dome side facing up. Like so. This is your clicker mechanism. We just bend the arms out a little bit. As they do get pushed in under tension. That sits on top. And that sits on there like so. So we're going to leave that off for a while now. Leave that to the side. Right, so we've got to open the uh, gear side up now. Move the lever. Move the two screws. Remove the two screws from the back. Remove the red plate. And there's a tiny little screw at the top here. This is a little Phillips. You want to be really careful with this one, never to over tighten this particular screw. Then we can remove the plate. As I say, these are well over greased. The drag system, this is what we're going to be sorting out today. There's a small washer. That's the way the gears come out. Top, bottom, drag washer, plate, drag washer, plate, drag washer, and your main gear. I'm going to give these a clean off. There's far too much grease on the inside of this reel. So I've got some uh, pen reel grease. I'm going to put some grease onto these drag washers. Now I'll clean them off. Just clean them off with air lighter fluid and just got all the grease off them. It's best to grease the, the drag washers. Then they won't prematurely wear. You don't have to overdo it. You just need a... A smear of grease really and we just work it in with your with your hands you need the best tool for the job I'll make them last a lot longer then we'll reassemble it so reassemble the gears to drag washer first 
and a metal plate, drag washer, metal plate, drag washer, and a metal plate on top, and a small washer goes on top. I'm going to leave that for a while because I need to take this off and deal with the bearing behind here. So if you undo these two screws here, lift the arm out and you've got a little bearing on the back of this. So all I do with this part is I actually add grease onto this bearing. It doesn't matter how fast this goes, this bearing just needs to be protected from salt water and place it back into its hole and then retighten it back up. Take any excess grease off that. So that's just for your handle, that's why we grease that one and don't oil it so it stays moving all the time. Last thing to do on the rail is remove the two springs, move the pinion, take the plate away, I'll clean the excess grease off here. So you can see your pinion bearing inside the plate. I wouldn't remove these unless they're broke, you just bang them out, bang them back in. Uh, there's nothing wrong with it, so we just give it a clean out, a little bit of oil on there, and uh, we'll reassemble. So reassembly, we'll put a little bit of grease on the plate and fit that back. We'll place the pinion back in its guide. Place it back through the pinion bearing. We'll take the two springs, place them on top. We've got a metal washer, first of the gear. Plastic washer, again that can have a little bit of grease on, not a lot. We'll place the main gears on, what we'll do, we'll just work. Just a little bit of grease onto the main cog, just like so, place that back on. Place the last plate on, and the washer sits on the top. I'll we'll just check that all works, that's fine. Now we can replace the anti repairs bearing. On this side of the plate so basically here's your answer reverse bearing just literally pops out the other one just pops in there's a metal sleeve in the middle we'll take that out so we just place it in notorious for going down to reverse bearings on the mag uh, twos and threes i think the mag four has been improved or i hope it has and we take this plastic sleeve there's two little slots at the top they go at the top that goes on Plate goes back on. Just place that anti reverse bearing back in, it will pop out when you do that. Take the small screw, tighten that back up. Again, don't over tighten this screw, that one's a nightmare if it snaps. Take the two lower screws at the back. Put the side plate back on, place the other two screws, replace the arm, sometimes what I like to do with these is make sure it's in the right position is turn it back to free spool, upside down and then turn it over the way it wants to go and then free fit the screw. Well, we're going to refit the tension cap now so as the plastic clicker got two little lugs on match with the two holes the 
retention cap we have to be really careful not to lose this center piece so we place it on sideways so it won't fall out i like to take that right the way in and then back it off so you can hear the click is working start refitting the handle we've got a uh, two compression washers these sort of dome in so the two domes meet so it forms a compression clicker sits on top of that we've got the clicker on I like to just put a little bit of grease onto the spindle there just helps with the star drag What can often happen with the Mark IIs is they don't want to turn. So if you hold the top of the handle there and turn it down like that, you won't have any trouble. So you start hearing a click. And we refit the air. Uh, black washer that goes behind the handle refit the handle these are off a pen squeal actually better than the ones the mags here uh, 525 mags come with replace the uh, nut on the handle replace the uh, cover on top of the nut Put the little screw back in and say don't over tighten these ones to mess your whole handle up you can't get these out you've got to cut everything off so at this point we just check everything's working we'll check the star drag's working that's fine make sure it's going in and out of free spool make sure the handle's turning make sure everything's rotating if that's the case we'll fit the spindle fit the side place cover so in here now you've got two big screws two little screws if you look inside you'll see brass they're the little screws so we'll start with those first if you do get them mixed up you'll you can break your cage So there we go, Penfad and Mark 3 service, so just clean all the grease off it when you've finished actually. So put the mags on less, lowest setting, spin that, plenty of spin on it. Never going to be an out and out casting reel, but they're not bad. A little bit of play. Check it goes into free uh, engage. And that's it. That's now running for another six months. Thanks for watching.